We learned that OPD and the DEA have been working under the radar to take down drug dealers in the metro. Their official collaboration launched back in September. Our Bella Caracta shares what the task force has seen and seized off the streets of Omaha already. We are at a point in our society where truly one pill is all it takes to kill somebody. And now more of the pills found on the streets are lethal. Emily Murray from the DEA Omaha division says that in 2021, four of 10 pills had potentially lethal doses. In 2022, six of 10 are lethal. The sheer number of drugs coming into the county are increasing too. And the pills are coming in in mass quantities. So whereas our agents and our investigators used to seize maybe a few pills at a time just a few years ago, three or four years ago, that number got bumped up to 100 pills a time at a single seizure. And now it's not uncommon for our agents or investigators to seize thousands of pills in a single seizure. That's why OPD and the DEA formed a task force in September of 2022 to investigate overdoses, target the local dealers, and track the drugs back to the source. People that are on that task force, their only focus is going to be overdoses, and that's it. The investigations can be more thorough, they're quicker, and we can go after whoever the dealer is and try to prevent them from harming somebody else. In just a few months, the task force has arrested and charged dealers, though they don't want to say how many. They say they've also taken deadly pills off the streets of Omaha. Uh, when we take one of those shipments off, there could be hundreds of thousands of lethal doses in there. And These are pictures of meth and fentanyl recently seized by the task force. While the number of officers on the force is confidential, people on the task force have jurisdiction across state lines to track the drugs at the source. Uh, all of our leads are telling us uh, in our resource, resources that the, the drugs are primarily coming from Mexico. Lieutenant Foreign Officer, the task force is federally funded and doesn't have an expiration date. On your side, in Omaha, Bella Caracta, 6 News. Officials also tell 6 News that rainbow fentanyl, which are the pills, they're in a range of colors. It's also made its way to Omaha. They warn us to be extra vigilant and not buy any pills off the streets or social media.